So, greetings everyone. Welcome to the third episode of Ken Academy, wherein we try to solve for all the questions we have in this one single problem right here. This time, we will try to solve for question C, which is asking about the area of the throat. Okay, so what part is the throat? This part is our throat of our wind tunnel. And we are looking for the area of that region. Now, the only equation that relates the area with the state property with the velocity is the mass flow rate equation. And since we know that the mass flow rate throughout the wind tunnel nozzle is 0 0.5 kilograms per second, the mass flow rate in the inlet section from the reservoir in the throat section and in the exit section is just the same. It's 0 0.5 kilograms per second. So in order for us to get the area, the area at the throat, I can just use the mass flow rate equation. But the problem with that one is that I do not have the density of the air flowing at the throat the static air density okay since I have my velocity at the throat I have the mass flow rate of the throat I can proceed with this one if only I have this density right here now since I know that the mass I'm sorry that the problem does not say that heat is being added or heat is being taken away the whole flow throughout the nozzle, throughout the wind tunnel nozzle, is just an isentropic process. Therefore, the process from state 1 to state 2 and to state 3 is just an isentropic process, and that when you want to change for, um, when you want to know how the state properties change, with any regions in the um, supersonic wind tunnel, I can just use my isentropic state relations right here. So I am looking for the density at the throat. The only, <clears throat> excuse me for that one, the only thing I need, the density at the throat, is to get the density at the reservoir. And to get the density at the reservoir, I just have to use the equation of state for that one and then deriving an equation so that I will be able to figure out the density at the reservoir. Substituting known values and correcting, I'm sorry, converting the given pressure at the reservoir into a more appropriate unit. I'm just going to multiply it by its conversion factor, All right? Continuing with my process, I get this one for my pressure converted for um, an appropriate unit divided by 287.08 as my gas constant and multiplied by a thousand Kelvin which is my temperature at the reservoir. Continuing with the operations okay um, I just <clears throat> excuse me I just segregated my units for easier understanding. I get my density at the reservoir which is 3.52950397107853131 and to check for the correct units i will still continue solving for the um, appropriate units by canceling out needed values and then substituting known values for joules which is newton per meter um, newton multiplied by a meter, canceling, canceling out newtons. Sorry, this one is um, meter cube, right? So, 
So our density is 3.529039710185318531 kilograms per cubic meter. And that is just for the density at the reservoir. To get the density at the throat, I will use my state relations. And I know that P2 over P1 equals density 2 over density 1 raised to K. And I also know that P2 over T1 raised to K over K minus 1 is equal to density 2 over density 1 raised to K. Now the problem is, the question is, which relation should I use? Should I use my pressure density re relation or should I use my temperature density relation? Now to check my given, I don't have a pressure value for um, the uh, throat. But I can compute for that one by using equation of state. But still, I don't have my density at the throat. So I can't compute for the pressure at the throat. What I can do is to use my temperatures. Right? So let me just erase that side of the equation. All right? And let me write down this relationship right here temperature and density relations all right simplifying that relationship by multi by raising both sides by 1 over k i get this equation right here substituting known values and multiplying it by Temperature ratio, T2 over T1, 833 over 1000, both have the units of Kelvin, raised to 1 over K minus 1, and K for air is 1.4, I get my density at the throat, which is 2.23520385 kilograms per cubic meter now store that one in your calculators we will be using that one to solve for the area at the throat in the next video